completely empty. I'm here early. Great. Because the police are asking me to try to time coming in and out, so. Oh, I'm sick. I'm definitely sick. Standing out in the cold got me sick. And we're going to complain at the city council meeting imminently. And I'm going to be like, hey, the stalkers are still in play. The, the police won't do anything. That's the first time I ever came to speak here. It was because of my stalkers. And the impersonation specifically. And the police still haven't done anything. It's been two years since I came here. It's been eight years. Oh, my God. So... Oh, yeah, I'm going to point out the irony that um, they've got five cops to arrest me when I go out there and protest, protest police misconduct, but they ain't got anyone to do something about my damn stalkers. What the fuck is going on with these numbers? One, three, five... Two, four, six. I have no idea how I would do that. Separating evens and odds. <sighs> Maybe it's you can easily split the audience into by seats for a debate or something like all evens this side, all odd the other side. <sighs> I'm so fucking mad at the cops. And to have the audacity to arrest me, when you can't go down and stand in front of the police station and bam out the police, it's, it's, it's almost time for the revolution, guys. You can't fucking... That's the last bastion. Um, in front of stores and stuff at the town center, that's still freedom of speech. You know, you're, you're, you want to see as many people as possible. But... Uh, the cops, the police station or government building itself, if you can't do that, they just arrested a uh, protester. Suicide, man. Mm. I just keep thinking to myself, Maybe one more complaint. Maybe they'll finally do something. Like you, you, they never, they never stop bothering me. The impersonation's got to go. That's that's. I mean, it's all bad, but that's where I picked to start. I mean, it's, it personally offends me. It's dangerous too. It's fucking dangerous. But it personally offends me. There may have been people that tried to contact me that I wanted to hear from that I didn't because they, my name doesn't go to me, it goes to my bullies. Which is absurd. And it's the most, investigating it would be the easiest just to fucking send you, just fucking say, all right, who is actually interacting with this YouTube and who is on it? It's and, and they tell me to go complain to Google, and every time I do a complaint, Google says no. You got to go to your law enforcement. Impersonation is a crime. Google's not here to argue who am I. The government gives me my social security number and driver's license number. That determines who I am. He's pretending to be me, and it's caused problems. And I'm shortening it dramatically. There, it's a member of his group that's not him himself, but he gets information from it, and it's all out of my reach and I don't have details except that he was involved heavily but he always has this falling outs with people so it could be independent now but it's still a meeting board for my bullies and they see what other people say they think they're talking to me and I don't see it because they can hide it and do whatever I have no you if you message Colton Wood on there that's not me so I don't get a notification I'm completely in a other, well, every time in the three cases that have, they came to me and said, this isn't you over here. We thought it was, I don't have a way of knowing that. And that, the last one here, the third one, Carolyn Kimberly, they fucking, they did, uh, 
they contacted me on my real channels at the same time, I think. But then they uh, uh, acted real weird, and I'm not sure. There's two possibilities with them. Either they found out I'm poor, I'm like, fuck it, he's not even worth two words. Which which burned like like acid, like it was it was one of the most horrible, painful things. I didn't realize I could still hurt like that. To, to have a brief thought that I might get to talk to someone that knew who I was, that that grew up with me, that, that even knows my fucking name right, and uh, like not an enemy. I thought, and then they ended up. I'm pretty sure the sister's bull, not the one that messaged me, but I'm pretty sure a sister is bullying me because there was a video. Of a guy in a skull crusher. He, she's a tranny. But I'm pretty sure it was her. In a mask. Pretty sure. Like almost in the timing and shit. Made it more obvious. But it was right when her sister definitely talked to me. Oh and her sister said that she's the one that found me. And she never said anything. She said I thought I wouldn't have understood. So that's absolute stupidity. By the way. Uh when I try to defend transvestites to dumb fucks like my parents, that's the type of example I use, something where it's very, 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 very clear, like a female is representing very masculine or a man is representing very feminine. Um, she fucking played nationally competitive softball. She had a little bit of facial hair, tall, strong, heavier. Like, totally made sense. <clears throat> and people like my father, the biggest that don't like trans, just don't get that they can't help the way they are. You're just born that way. Maybe the man that looks like a woman doesn't want to look like a woman, but he does. Tough luck, that's what you look like. I'm an ugly fucker to begin with. But one problem I do have is spending big money, like tens of thousands of dollars, on their surgery. But there's not that I can't get the same. You see, if I spent tens of thousands of dollars, I think I would be more sexually attractive. And you know, I used to get laid more before I got this gut and shit. Before I got my shoulder shattered, which is which is horrible. I'm trying to deal with now, but it is it's hard to get good health care, and that's a major, 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 major problem. And uh, but just talking about fat and weight like I could I could look a lot better my face I found out I can drain my face out from beating on myself over the years like I I could really fucking look better if I spent a few tens of thousands of dollars and that would increase my chances of having a fulfilling sex life but no one gives a fuck about that but a tranny can spend all that money to make themselves more viable to what they want like they want to be a, a man wants to be a woman Well, I want to be a man, and I want to get laid. So give me tens of thousands of dollars so I can uh, have a fighting chance. You see my point? And, the, and I'm, not, I'm being sarcastic. I really say neither one of us should get it and fucking go feed the kids in Africa and all that. Like, Of course, in my society, in my perfect communist society, health care is free, and it would be extremely extremely easy like every anyone that wanted could but fuck the surrogates though that's one thing i won't stand for don't don't if you're a man you want to become a woman you can't freeze your sperm and go get someone pregnant with it first of all that's it it can be detrimental to go through the freezing process and you're you're penalizing the child right there second there's millions of unwanted kids we don't need to have any extras. And if you don't feel like breathing, like if you if you are born that way, that's fine. But you can't pass it on. You can't wish. I mean, it sucks to get Parkinson's. But man, if you get it, you're not allowed to have kids. <laughs> Why? Because that's a fate worse than death. Because it's torture. If you, It's like Down syndrome. The, the stupid fuckers that have babies with Down syndrome, they think their God can cure it. You cannot cure Down syndrome. Their God can't. I mean, their God can't pick up a toothpick, but no, you can't cure Down syndrome. Anyway, I'll never know with Carolyn and Kimberly whether they just said, oh, he's poor, fuck him, he's not worth the words, the words or if they decided to bully me. And that, I don't know why. I don't, because I thought we were on good terms and we just stopped talking to each other. I don't know that though. 
I mean, what do I know? But we never said anything negative. But she definitely she was freaked out that Colton Wood Vlogs was someone else and asked if they were going to hack her. And I warned her, like, yeah, they might. Please record everything. Talk to the police. Come forward to the authorities. Like, I'm scared to death. Help. And then she just ghosted. I went to jail. I was the, the, I, right as Dason was, he woke up that morning and was screaming about killing and eating kids. And I was having a conversation with her via text message. She's on the East Coast. I'm here at dawn. Six, kid Dason always gets on at 6 a.m. And then eventually, like, I had to go address it. Like, I can't let him catch me sleeping like he did before and fuck me off. <clears throat> so I went and handled the shit. You know, I saw what happened. Beat the fuck out of him. But right before that, the stalkers definitely were talking to him. Um, we're interfering with this girl. Like they, they interfere with every part of my life, dude. And I think that's what happened. I think she felt she was like Aaron. She fell in with them without me knowing, and they and developed a plan and launched the plan. She was saying she couldn't get through to my email. Send me your phone number. And I think it was just a trick. But the, and that, that also leaves me. There's two options. Either she was lying and it was a trick, and that hurts. Or she's telling the truth and there's problems with email. And I don't know. Sometimes I do wonder where people are. I was expecting a message. And I've thought about changing it, but... It seems... I remember back when I first... Cha when I made Dr. Canis. And the first night I made a mistake and said something to Dr. Canis. And Lorraine Morris, wife of cop, steps in and makes sure Richard Crowell and the rest of the Troll Brigade Mafia. And this is on the Troll Brigade Mafia page. You can't argue with it. It's just on one of the chapters of the Trouble Game Mafia. They were talking about that. Like, yeah. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh, and by the way, I got robbed last night. They, they fucking stole shit off my bike. I parked up here in a fucking mezzanine. mezzanine. They can fucking suck my cock. I don't want my bike in the shadows. And tonight, it's going inside. It's going off the streets inside. Inside, that's right, inside. I gotta go to storage after this, get a bunch of stuff, then maybe even food. <clears throat> I got a home TV now. I'm gonna plug my laptop up to it. Okay, and I gotta actually hold on. It's about time for me to start mentally centering because I'm about to publicly speak. It's gonna be recorded for all posterity. It's more than YouTube because they don't delete this. YouTube, they, they keep deleting my shit. And please, please, everyone, please leave me the fuck. Don't destroy my little business. Let me get going. You realize if I start making money, it just saves the ta taxpayer money. Because if I'm not making money, it's costing the taxpayer money. So let me work. Let me get it going. You know I will. I've got a good work ethic. <clears throat>